Google Tools for Education is comprised of a large suite of tools and features that can greatly enhance your experience as a teacher, as well as make tasks easier and more streamlined for your students. You can access these tools from all popular web browsers, but Google applications work best in Google's own browser, Google Chrome. In this video, we'll go over how to install Chrome and take a look at Chrome extensions. On Chromebooks, this browser is already installed, but if you're on a desktop or laptop and using a different browser, navigate to google.com slash chrome. Follow the download and installation instructions. Once Chrome is up and running, the default landing page is the familiar Google search engine. If you're not signed into your Google account, you'll see the sign in button here at the top right corner. Enter your email and password. You can use any email address for a Google account, or you can create a free Google account. Once you're signed in, you're still on the search engine page, but you'll also see your initial or image here, as well as a few other links across the top. Clicking Mail will open your email account. If you click Images, the search terms you enter here will produce a set of images, rather than links and clicking these squares brings up a list of other Google Apps, such as Drive, Calendar, or Photos. If you have any notifications, you'll see them listed here on the bell. And if you need to sign out or open another account, click here on your initial or image. Now let's take a look at Chrome extensions. These are small add-on programs that run in the background while you use Chrome performing specific tasks such as managing passwords, creating screen captures, or checking spelling and grammar. Extensions can be found in Google's Web Store. You can access the Web Store by entering Web Store in the search field, or you can navigate to chrome.google.com slash Web Store. The list of extensions is quite long, but you can filter by category here or filter your search by price or minimum ratings. A great number of extensions are free. Clicking on any extension brings up a description page where you can see an overview of what the extension does, read reviews, or view similar extensions. If you're looking for a specific extension, such as the popular Grammarly, you can type its name in the search field. This extension tracks your grammar and spelling as you type. To install, click the Add to Chrome button. Often when installing, you're asked for various forms of permission. Just read the prompts and follow the instructions. To see Grammarly in action, I'll open a new tab and go to my Gmail account. I'll start composing an email. If I type some text that has grammatical or spelling errors, I'll see red underlines where the problems are. There's also a red number down here that lets me see where the errors are and how many. I can click the number to fix everything at once, or I can click on the underlined words to get suggestions for how they should appear. Back in the Web Store, clicking the Google icon takes you back to the Web Store landing page. Another great extension for education is Google Tone. You can find this by searching by name or by filtering the search to show extensions by Google. The Tone extension uses your computer's speakers to broadcast a URL to any computer within hearing distance. To use this, click the Tone icon to the right of Chrome's address bar. The sounds that are produced correspond to your current URL and are identified by other computers who receive this URL link via their microphones so a teacher can easily send a URL to all computers in a classroom. All added extensions will have their own icon next to the address bar. Right-clicking on any icon enables you to remove the extension from your account or to hide its icon. To see a list of all added extensions, right-click on any extension icon and choose Manage Extensions. Clicking the back arrow brings up the list of all of your extensions. You can disable an extension by turning it off or remove it from your account. A disabled extension remains in your list and can be enabled later, whereas a removed extension would have to be installed again. 
You can also view an extension's options or details. In addition to extensions, the Web Store also offers themes. Your theme controls the appearance of your browser without changing any functionality. Adding themes is done as you would for adding an extension. If I add the theme called Unknown Space, here's how my landing page looks now.